الحمد للہ وسلاۃ وسلام علی رسول اللہ وعلیٰ علیہ وسلم اجمعین اما بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وقل جا الحق و ذاق الباطل ان الباطل کا نہ ضو کا ربی شلی صدری و سلی عمری وحل العدت ملسانی افق و قولی آئی ویلکم آل آف یو ود اسلام گریٹنگس السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ میں پیس موسی اینڈ بلیسنگ آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ بی آل آف یو اٹس این آنر فار می ٹو بی انوائٹیڈ بائی دا آرگنائزرس آف دس ایونٹ وچ از ٹو مارک دا سالیڈری آفٹر ون لون اے ایئر آفٹر دا اٹیک آن گازا وچ ٹوک پلیس آن دا سیونتھ آف اکٹوبر ٹوئنٹی وی نو فرام دا رپورٹ آف ال جزیرا ٹو ڈیز اگو آن دا ٹوئنٹی فورتھ آف سپٹمبر ٹوئنٹی فور دیٹ people in Gaza have been killed. These are the confirmed records. And 95,921 people have been seriously wounded. Of course, that should figure would be much more. There will be tens of thousands of people more who have been killed and hundreds of thousands who have been wounded. These are the confirmed case known to the authorities of Gaza. And we know that for the last one year, what has been happening is nothing but a genocide in Gaza. And we are in solidarity with the people of Palestine, especially Gaza. For the last 75 years that they have been struggling and fighting for the freedom, especially the last one year, since the 7th of October 2023, since the last one lunar year, the struggle has reached its pinnacle. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that May the people who have been martyred, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them Janitha Firdos al-Ala. And may the people who have suffered, who have been wounded, and we know that more than 80% of the people of Gaza have been displaced. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give them istiqamah, to give them sabr, to give them steadfastness, to give them patience and solace. What the people of Palestine, especially the people of Gaza are doing, is they are doing for the kifaya. They are protecting the third holiest site in Islam, that is Masjid Aqsa. If they would not have been there, we would have to do that job. So the full Muslim Ummah is thankful to the people of Palestine, especially the people of Gaza. And the atrocities that has happened in the last one year particularly, it is unbelievable. And this is the first time that there is a genocide which is being telecast live. There have been many genocides before, which we come to know, we get evidence sometimes after years, sometimes after months, sometimes after weeks. This is the first time in the history of humankind that a genocide, what was happening in Gaza for the last one lunar year, has been telecast live on the social media. And we know that the atrocities that have been done on the people of Gaza. What Israel has done, they have broken almost all the rules of international laws. They are selectively targeting innocent civilians. They are bombarding hospitals. They are stopping the relief material that is reaching to Gaza, whether it be medicine, whether it be water, whether it be electricity. And according to reports, the people that have been killed more than two-thirds were women and children. It is nothing but a genocide. And when we see what's happening in Gaza, it is a reminder to us Muslims. When we read the Quran, when we read the Hadith, how the Sahabas, how they sacrificed their lives, how they did Jiddu Jihad, they struggled for the cause of Islam. When we see what's happening in Gaza, it's a reminder. It makes us understand the Quran better. It makes us Muslims to understand the Hadith better. And we see a mother whose child or a son has been martyred and she's praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that even if you give me 10 more children, I would love to martyr them for your cause. Here we are seeing genuineness, the Iman. And when the non-Muslims, when they are watching these videos which are going viral, they are shocked. What kind of Iman do these people have? What kind of religion are they following? What kind of faith do they follow? What kind of God do they follow? Who is this Allah? That even after 
so much of atrocities is being done, instead of complaining, they are saying, Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah. They are saying, MashaAllah, as Allah wills. They are shocked. So much so that in the last one lunar year, we have reports of tens of thousands of non-Muslims who have accepted Islam only by watching the news of Gaza. Only by knowing what has happened in Gaza, there are tens of thousands of non-Muslims all over the world, especially in Western countries, that have accepted Islam. And we find a larger number, tens of millions of non-Muslims. Before this, the non-Muslims hardly knew what was happening in Gaza, what was happening in Palestine for the last 75 years. And there was a one-sided narration in the media. Now when they are seeing the eyes are opening, they have realized the truth. So much so that now there are tens of millions of non-Muslims who have come to know about Islam. And we find them in protest. Large number of non-Muslims are protesting all over the world, not only in Muslim countries, in non-Muslim countries against the atrocities, what is happening in Gaza. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 54, makhru wallahu khayl makhri. They planned and plotted Allah to plan. Allah is the best of plan. Allah says, Yam kuru yam kalo, wallahu khayl makhri. They planned and plotted, Allah is the best of planner. Here we see that whatever atrocities they're doing now, it's open to the world. It is a double standard what they talk about human rights. It's nothing but a violation of the human rights. We are here when one lunar year has been completed. We are here in solidarity for the people of Gaza. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with you. We request you to continue your struggle. And inshallah, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that he gives you the best in this world as well as in the Akhara. I'd given a speech on this topic of 15 point action plan or 13 point action plan for the Muslim Ummah for the Palestinian cause. And time will not permit me to repeat all the points, but it is a fard for every Muslim. The least we can do is pray for the people of Palestine, is to pray for the people of Gaza. And the best time to pray is in the last one third of night, in tahajjud, in your sujood. Because Allah answers the prayer the best at that time. And we find Muslim Ummah in many countries. They are reading the Nuzul Qunut in every Salah. In five times Salah, in Jamaat, they are praying for the people of Palestine. It is the duty that we pray for them. It is the duty that we spread the atrocities that is being done on the people of Gaza all over the world on our social media, whether it be your Facebook, whether it be your YouTube, whether it be Instagram, see to it that you bring in awareness all over the world. It's your duty. And we have to protest against the atrocities. Protest many a times does wonders. And what we find that in the last few months, the protests have not only been in the Muslim countries, they have been in the non-Muslim countries. Even in America, in UK, in European countries, all these countries are strong allies of Israel. And we see the common man, the non-Muslims, coming in huge numbers, in tens of thousands, in hundreds of thousands, in large numbers protesting against the atrocity that is being done on the people of Gaza. And we find that today, only because of what's happening in Gaza and the way the people in Gaza are reacting, the iman that they have, we find that the tens of millions of non-Muslims, they have come closer to Islam. And we have to see to it that we contribute the best that we can for the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to see to it that whatever you have, whatever limited resources Allah has given you, or whatever maximum resources Allah has given you, you have to sacrifice that for the cause of the people of Gaza so that we get the ajar in return. And even boycotting is a very good strategy. And we know because of the boycott that has been done in the past several months, there has been a great loss for companies like Starbucks, like companies like McDonald's, which are supporters of the atrocities, supporting Israel in atrocities done on the people of Gaza. And we find that they have gone in huge losses, in huge losses, so much so that, that many of the people who, who were supporting Israel in attacking Gaza are now supporting Gaza. We have to do our duty as Muslims. And I would like to end this short speech of mine in just reminding the people that what the people of Gaza are doing are phenomenal. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. May Allah grant you the highest levels of Jannah. May Allah give you sabr. May Allah give you istiqamah. And it is the duty of every Muslim that we stand by, by the people of Gaza. And repeat to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he solve all your problems and let peace prevail back into the land of Palestine. I would like to end the speech with the ayah I quoted of Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 81, when Allah says, وَقُلْ جَعَ الْحَقْ وَذَاقَ الْبَاطِلِ إِنَّ الْبَاطِلِ كَانَ هَذُوكَ When truth is heard again, falsehood, falsehood perishes. For falsehood is by its nature bound to perish. وَآخِرُ الدَّعْوَانَ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ